Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. They made out in the car for a few minutes. I think she's with him. Going to talk to him? Yeah, I actually do. Oh, oh hello. I'm Tommy Brown from the TV show Who Cheaters. Who is that? It's dude that been doing what you ain't been doing, man. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, Get up. Get up. Get up. Real Reality Television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Hello, I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another dramatic installment of Cheaters. Please meet Marvin Keel, a young man with doubts about his lover's sincerity. Sick of being played for a fool, Marvin empowers cheaters to act on his behalf. Marvin Keel, age 19. A grocery store stalker with anxiety that his girlfriend may be filling her shelves with other men. Right, when I met Keisha, it was like it was through my cousin, a family member. She put me down, she hooked me up, and I was I was cutting for her because I really liked her when she came over my house. And I mean, she just to me, she looks good. I don't know what how to describe it. To me, she looks real good. So I was real attracted to that, and then we. I say after that, we went strong for about seven or eight months. This last month has been a, a waste of a month. And I mean, my, my feelings for her have grew real strong. And she was talking about getting an apartment. I was going to move in with her and help her out on some of the bills. And she wanted me to help her out. And I mean, everything just went downhill now. So I don't know if everything would go as planned. My cousin told me that that she had been receiving numbers and things. And since I don't live with her, I couldn't just actually say it was true or not. So I was going by the trust factor again. And I was saying, I asked her, she was like, no, I'm not getting any numbers, so I was cool. I, I think she's lying because I, I don't feel the same anymore. My, my attitude towards her has changed and her attitude has changed also. So. I, I mean, I really think she's being dishonest with me right right now. My my feelings for her right now are very very strong, like I was saying, and I actually want this relationship to work because I I believe I see something in the future for us. But I mean, if it doesn't work, I can't stop it. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Keisha Dennis, age 18, a student suspected of skipping class and consorting with other schoolboys. Investigation day five, Cheaters PIs patiently wait at the suspect's house for signs of action when a mysterious cruiser pulls up and parks in front of the residence. A young man gets out, skips over to the other side of the car and opens the door for his passenger. Cheaters watch dogs are disappointed, but not surprised when suspect Keisha Dennis gets out of the vehicle with her backpack in hand. As the two casually scuttle up the walkway to her place, Cheaters investigators keep a close watch for signs of naughty activities. The male companion appears to have high hopes of gaining entry to her love pad, but he has to settle for a tight hug and a quick peck on the cheek. Seeming somewhat dejected, the male companion is sent home without getting any on this go-around, and cheaters watch dogs pack it in for the day. Investigation Day 8. After a few days with no hard evidence, cheaters sleuths spot the elusive male companion going over to the suspect's house once again. He has now been identified as Damien Renfro. 
The young man makes his way up her walkway, and within seconds, suspect Dennis emerges from the residence carrying a glamorous white dress. The couple then mosey on over to his waiting chariot, where she delicately places the dress in the front seat next to her waiting chauffeur. Companion Renfro puts his foot on the gas, and Cheater's P.I.s keep a magnifying glass on their every move. After stopping at a nearby store, Ms. Dennis hops out to run a few errands, while Renfro patiently waits in his machine. Moments later, the two are on the move again, leaving the Cheater's force wondering what lies ahead on this long road of deceit. Miss Dennis obviously gets what she wants, as she sends her gopher into a convenience store for some soda pop to quench her parched throat. After completing all of his assigned tasks, Companion Renfro finally gets a short playtime break, as Miss Dennis allows him to stop at a lovely Dallas park. The commanding princess guides her Lothario over to a cozy park bench where they initially take up a friendly distance. Suspect Dennis apparently has little respect for her loyal and absent boyfriend, as confirmed in a conversation earlier in the day. Please. Uh, no, I ask you want to go to the movies this weekend. Yeah. You, you got something to do? Yeah, I'm going to go to the mall with Tamara. Yeah, can I join y'all at the mall? Well, I'm my boyfriend at the mall with me. Well, I call you back when you get free. Okay. All right. But after spending over an hour on the grassy knoll, Renfro starts to make some headway, and suspect Dennis finally begins to warm up. Cheater's detectives can feel the tension building between the two and follow them back to Dennis's residence, thinking that the coup de grace may be forthcoming. But when he pulls up to his lady's castle, the young knight is stymied by what appears to be friends and neighbors at her doorstep. Renfro will have to wait another day to make his move. Investigation Day 9. Cheater's sleuths sense the investigation is coming to a close when Renfro stalks up to Dennis's home once again to complete what he started the day before. With school books in tow and apparently full of anticipation, the suspect hops into companion Renfro's cruiser for another afternoon filled with fun and games. As it turns out, Renfro is not particularly creative in his choice of romantic locales, as he takes her back to the same park as before, possibly hoping to hit the daily double. He saddles up next to her at another park bench, and within minutes, he makes his move, casually placing his arm around her neck. Their body language is now unmistakably romantic. Suspect Dennis then makes a feeble attempt at studying, but Renfro proves to be too much of a distraction, and they eventually head back off toward his waiting car. A long goodbye smooch in the car seals the deal for Cheater's watchdogs, and they decide it's best to return to Marvin and end the charade. After the break, the confrontation. Keisha shows her true colors during the illicit conduct captured in the surveillance, prompting Cheater's to inform Marvin of her betrayal. Marvin must remain focused as he reviews the condemning footage. You were telling me earlier that you feel like you're in the middle of a jigsaw puzzle. Some would, because everything is still a mystery. Yeah. You know, I don't know what's going on, so I don't know what to think. As you requested, our detectives went out, gathered some information for us, and on these three different days, she was telling you one thing, yeah. but doing another. On this right. day of investigation, this fella picked up your girlfriend from school. <laughs> this was the day you told me that her mom was picking her up from school. Well, she didn't pick her up from school. This fella did. But we followed him back to her house. Yeah. Now, it may have just been friends, I don't know, but she's kind of got her arm around him. He just simply drops her off, mm -hmm. hugs her by. Not a lot went on there. You're right. Three days later, same guy, same car. She told you she was going to the mall with her cousin. Yeah. And taking this dress right here to get altered. Yeah, I remember the dress. She, she didn't go with your cousin. She went with this fella again. Now, she dropped the dress off, and they went over to this park. It seems like they could be alone here. 
Well, they were there about two hours in this park. <laughs> I see. She's lying to you. Uh, yeah, that's right. where it's two. They're holding hands. This is like a new relationship that's starting, yeah, is what I see here. On this day of investigation, we followed him back over to this park. They spent a few hours here. He's got his arm around her. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, just, that's just wrong. Yeah. They're walking along, his arm around her, gets back in the car, and then here it is. They reach over and they Line kiss. Touches, huh? They made out in the car for a few minutes, and then she went inside. Obviously, there's something else going on. Well, you gotta be. She's lying to you, she's deceiving you, and in my book, cheating on you. Mm, which is true. Well, my detective's following him right now, and he, she's with him. You wanna talk to him? Yeah, I actually do. Okay, let's get loaded up. All right. And we'll let you say your piece to her. Get it out, okay? All right. All right. <laughs> this is Grand Gomez. Tell me where you're at. They're in the store? Okay. We're just gonna, you bring us right in, okay? Your girlfriend's right down the hall here. You all right, buddy? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Let's just get it done. <laughs> Keisha, hey, you want to explain what you've been up to? Hey, you just going to walk away that, from man? him? Yeah, no. oh, oh, hello. I'm Tommy Grant from the TV show Cheaters. Who that? This dude that been doing what you ain't been doing. Why hadn't you just oh, so stepped up and told him how you felt? Shoot, he ain't been around. You ain't been coming around. I ain't been coming around, seriously. I have Say. phone conversations of you making excuses not for him, sir, so he couldn't come around. He should have got the picture. I should have got oh, you the just, pictures. You just couldn't tell him? I ain't no picture to it. You have to string him out like that? The poor guy has feelings for you. You even tell him, I have feelings for you. Are you kidding me? He ain't told me he ain't no feelings for me. Say, man. Come on now. Say, you already know the deal. You know what I'm saying? Where he, maybe who was he? I don't even know him. You're not supposed to know him. I mean, be different if I was talking to your homeboy now, huh? I'm just doing I'm just doing Coming up, the conclusion. Why you didn't get the pictures? I know, I know. Why, say, pictures? why you just couldn't get straight to the point? He stared people around the bush, man. Did he know you have a, a boyfriend? Yeah, he knew. He knew all the time? I ain't gonna tell, I ain't gonna tell them no lie, you know? <laughs> Go through all How these are you just doing? to get answers, facts. I'm Tommy Grant from the TV show Cheater. You ever hear of it? Yeah, I heard of it, I ain't never seen it. How long have you been hanging out with Keisha? A couple weeks. Really? Yeah. Did you know that uh, she had a boyfriend? Yeah, she told me, but she was Oh, what, which one do you want to talk about? You want to oh, really? prove your what? Oh, my thing. What's the sad thing is she hadn't informed her boyfriend that it was over. That ain't one of my business. I mean, they've been—they're still sleeping together. Hey. Have you been yeah, sleeping with her? Man. You been hitting it at all, or what? Hey, man, that's confidential information. Man. I mean, but you know my feelings for you strong, so it ain't gotta come to this point. You know what I'm saying? What did you ever say, uh, Keisha? Uh, man, you should have been through that. No, I shouldn't have been under. Now, how am I going to know something if you don't open up your mouth and say something? Hey, man, you should have been through. And man, how am I going to know something if you don't open months. up your mouth and say something? Man, yeah, we've been nine months. You should have been through that. I mean, I got a lot of footage of you and her together. Putting your arms around her, hugging her, kissing her, hanging out at the park with her. It was a park. There ain't no park around here, man. There ain't been no park. Oh, yeah, you've been to the park. Uh, Doing homework with her. I got footage of you kissing her right in your car. Man, I need to see this. Where this footage at? Show me. You don't believe it? No, I don't believe nothing. You got to say it. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Actually, let me, get, let me ask you a question. So, what do you think? I mean, you're my guy. So whatever you say, man. 
I don't even want to talk about it right here. Can, can y'all take me to my house? Yeah. You want her to come with you? Yeah. Yeah. Keisha, come on. Let's come with us. I think you're done, pal. They're going to go talk. Listen, man, I apologize for whatever. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel that you need to give a little more attention to what you've been doing. Like I was when we first started going here. Following the confrontation, Marvin evaluates his limited options. At the end of the show, Cheaters unveils how Marvin plans to deal with the matter. But first, Cheaters presents Jonathan Shaw, a young musician exposed for the infidelity he displayed toward his live-in girlfriend, Kyra. Jonathan Shaw, age 20. Jonathan returns to Cheaters to discuss his astonishment at the lengths to which his former girlfriend went. Well, when the crew came in, I was taking a shower, and Kyra just busted in, flopped the curtain open. I was super pissed right away. I mean, it's a total invasion of my privacy. You know, I mean, it's uncalled for in any situation. I don't know why a cameraman should be filming me in the shower, ever, you know? Where the hell is he? What the f did you do to me? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Kyra? I got cheaters in here. How could you do this to me after all this time I've been taking care of you? How could you do this to me? Oh my God, get out! How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? And you're my friend. I was, I was just really angry. I mean, I was a little hurt that she threw the guitar off. I mean, more angry than hurt, but still, that guitar means a lot to me. It was a gift from my dad before he died, and I learned how to play on that guitar. It just had a lot of sentimental value, and she just had no respect for that at all. Trashed it. Come on, don't touch him. Come here. Come here. Bag this. You. You what the you gonna do now? God. God. Here. No more talk. Get the hell out of here. Get out of here. Get to me. Get yeah. Uh, technically, what I did was cheating, but you know, at the time. It, it seemed okay. It seemed like the right way to go about things, you know. But yeah, in the end, I guess it was cheating. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. The guitar? Give it to me. This is what I think about your music. You. You. Sucks. You. Sucks anyways. My dad gave me this. I don't care. Your dad did. Get out of here. You're lucky I'll kill you. I can't believe it. You're better than that. You're better than that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You right? I can't believe it. Um, I don't know if it'll help restore my reputation, you know, because people have seen what they saw. And I'm probably not going to change their minds about it. But as far as I'm concerned, how I feel, you know, I'll feel a lot better just knowing that I had my chance to explain things. And that's all I really need. Left confused and hurt by the manner in which he was treated by suspect Dennis, Marvin Keel sensed that he needed to make a major change in his life. He promised himself to no longer consort with trashy women like those his loving mother always warned him about. Marvin decided to join a local singles group where he reported that this particular avenue has opened up a whole new world of classy and trustworthy females. Keisha Dennis talked briefly with Cheater's producers and admitted that she did not mean to hurt such a sweet man. She did, however, state that it was just too tempting to pull the wool over the eyes of someone so trusting and gullible. After pondering the excruciating pain that she caused Mr. Keel, Keisha decided to contact him personally to apologize for her misguided deeds. As for companion Renfro, he didn't seem to care about Mr. Keel's plight whatsoever and was just happy to be having sexual relations in any capacity. Every day, ugly people running around. 
Düşünüyorum.